Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today what we're going to be doing is once again playing three games with our squad in divisions. We're trying to boost ourselves in the divisions because I want to I want to win division 8 so I get the uh, the coinage for it basically. And then we'll go into some division 7 games if we can get there. Now, um, four games left with this guy right here, Antoine Griezmann. He's been a very, very good signing for us and I'm... I'm Really wanting to pick one up myself because I love the man. I can't. I don't know what I'm going to do in my life when he's gone in four games time is what I'm trying to say. Um, so we go into our first game of divisions. We come up against, yet again, another BPL squad. It's just how it is at the moment. Um, but he's got the likes of Rondon, Payet, Okore and Mika Richards. And... Those are some pretty tough players to come up against. You know, he's also got Joel Campbell out on the side, so he's got a lot of pace in the team as well. Um, we start things pretty strong, though. He's got some pretty poor defending going on, and we stick it into the back of the net. I think that was Griezmann that gets the goal, um, and there was all sorts of fumbling going on around there. I can't believe we came away going 1-0 up. Normally, the keeper saves shots in that sort of area. We didn't get a penalty for that right there. And that blew my mind, absolutely. Uh, we then take a lovely shot with Kevin prince Burton, but just wide of the post. Um, and then <laughs> Fusro Da happens. Uh, I don't understand what was going on in this game. There was all sorts of weird physical bugs happening. And I just I thought I'd just show you one of them right there. And we then get a lovely ball through to Connop Lianca. A couple of bits of no-touch dribbling. I play it inside and then I do the dirty, which is play the sweaty across to Antoine Griezmann to get his second go uh, goal of the game. And what well, is seasons, right? So you score whatever opportunities you can that you can get and I did so right there and we then get into the box with Griezmann once again for the hat trick but a good save from the goalkeeper and as you can see at half time it's actually a more even game than you guys will have seen but I was showing you more of my opportunities because the goals because we were scoring goals basically um I continued the pressure in the second half won myself a penalty early very early doors Griezmann steps up and makes his hat trick complete and of course does a little dance as well to celebrate that hat trick that he got we haven't got many games left with him so it's good to score as many goals as you possibly could and of course my opponent decides to rage quit at that point it's weird I've been coming up against more rage quitters at this point in the series than ever um we get 4,300 coins for that one because of course we win the title we win 4,000 coins um so I also need to go back into the catalogue and add another one of these, uh, the thousand point bonus things uh, for every game we play for the next 10 games or something. Because obviously that bonus has run out. We now have three games left with the main man. Connor Plianka is also doing a pretty good job. But of course, these guys are a little bit knackered. So we switch over to the 3-5-2 side. The, this team has been without doubt one of my favorites so far on FIFA. It's just got everyone good in the right positions and i know we're, we're you know we're closing in on like 40 50 000 coins right now so it's time we upgraded some sort of squad um and that will happen but we need to carry on playing for now and we go into this match and we come up against another bpl squad of course he's got rondon and he's got walcott and i was a little bit nervous about that we miss a shot quite early doors um and we it was a weird game. It was a lot of playing around in the middle. Uh, and I, I managed to earn myself a couple of opportunities. But really not as many as I thought I would do. Uh, a lovely ball through. And Cabela nearly volleys it. Top bin. That would have been a beautiful goal right there. Um, however, this guy gets through on goal with Rondon. And I've got to say, he nails it. He, he does what um, you need to do in seasons. Which is score every opportunity you can get. Serious defensive mishap right there. Gets him through with Rondon. He plays it off to Theo Walcott. And, well, of course, that one's going to go into the back of the net. Even though it took a deflection off my player. Um, at half time, it looks like we've had a slightly better half. But he scored two goals. And maybe that's just what these Division 7 players are doing. You know, they're more clinical than the ones in Division 8. Um, I think, if I'm right in saying this, let me know if you know, by the way. Let me. Uh, I think it's, um, if you go into divisions, you can play three leagues either way. So in Division 7, I could be playing someone in Division 4, or I could also be playing someone in Division 10. Let me know if that's correct. I think that's how it works. We get a consolation here, but of course, we're absolutely getting annihilated. It's 3-1 at present, and it looks like it wasn't going to stop. Uh, I only got a goal because of a penalty, of course. He wins the ball with strength right there with Firmino, scoops me, hits the shot, and ugh, keeper just parries it straight into the path of Theo Walcott. And I'm just like, okay, I can't get a slight bit of luck right now. Um, and then even when I did the triple taps to right in front of goal, they weren't going in. 
this guy was better than me. Uh, and, you know, he was going to show it by scoring yet another goal with Kieran Gibbs to make it 5-1. Very embarrassing and a horrible game. I was extremely stressed after this one. Um, nearly, I nearly rage quit. And I don't want to do that in this series because, it's, you know... That's, that's really bad. That's the sign of when you do terribly that you have to rage quit. And I'm trying not to do that this year because, well, yeah, it's not it's not a good look at all. We lose the game 5-1 and that is that. We won't think about that one ever again. However, we do need to go into our team, get rid of these guys for a bit, switch over to the other one. We've got three games left with Griezmann. We can go into our final game of the episode today and, well, hopefully get a win to, uh, to knock that 5-1 out of the park. Well, hmm. We come up against this squad right here, which is a seriously nice team. He's got the likes of Boateng and Sturridge. He's got BPL, Bundesliga, and League 1 in his squad in his 4-2-3-1. And 4-2-3-1, that variant, can be one of the strongest formations in the game if you know how to use it correctly. And I couldn't really break him down. We go 1-0 up, basically on the stroke of 10 minutes of this game. But that might be one of the only real like chances I have in the game it was a really quick build up and that's what you kind of need to do sometimes but I couldn't seem to keep doing that in this game he gets back into it after like five minutes of me scoring like not even that he he, he replied really quickly which is uh, is a really bad thing because at that point you know okay someone's just got stressed that they've let a goal in and they're gonna reply really quickly and I, I wasn't a fan of that he then somehow puts that into the back of the net no idea how one he scored from that angle two my, my defender didn't quite get there um but we will uh we'll soldier on and we'll do our, do our best in this game i could feel that i wasn't going to win this so but it's seasons right you can you can come away with a draw sometimes and that will help but everything i did with was either getting saved or defended or i couldn't even make it past the halfway line fair play to my keeper there from stopping me from going two goals down um but half time, it was a relatively even match, and I'm only one goal down, so we can turn it around in the second half, right? Well, unless he plays it into Ross Barkley, who sticks it right into the top of the net and makes it a two goal lead on me. That's when I started to really, really struggle. Good move from Connor Plianka right there. Once again, there was just so many defenders around. Diaby misses the opportunity. Well, sticks it on target, but the goalkeeper manages to save. I, I give him like so much space and of course he's going to net the fourth goal of the game and that's how it's going to end. So in two games, we've scored twice, <laughs> we've let nine goals in, um, but we won the first game in the episode and caused the quit. So that's, you know, a little bit of positivity, but not a great start in Division 7. Maybe I've found my level already <laughs> and that would be quite embarrassing, wouldn't it? But that's how things roll. We, you know, we've played two games in the new division and we've got spanked both of them so we need to fix up we've only got a little bit of time left with this squad only two games left with Griezmann now so I'll, um, I'll do my best to to get the best out of him score some goals hopefully come away with some points in this league because I'm gonna need to start doing well if I'm gonna at least stay up you know um, so we, we will we will venture on in the next episode um, Depending on how the first game or two goes in the next episode, what I will do is perhaps think about maybe building a new squad. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Hit that like button on today's video if you guys have enjoyed. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new um, for all sorts of good FIFA 16 content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.